OK. <laughs> Not a clue. Never mind. Let's move on. Let's look at our glorious audience here this evening. Lots of good-looking people here. That's right. And some ugly <laughs> people here. Well, look what he is. Ugly. Ah, that's harsh right there. And that's just a part of comedian and ventriloquist Paul Zerdin's routine. You know him as season 10 winner of America's Got Talent. He is coming back to Las Vegas in just a few months, and he joins us live now. I tell you, you, uh, you have uh, quite some characters uh, that you have to deal with, it looks like. Hi, Jason. Good morning. Yes, that was Sam you just saw, who's one of my, my main characters. And, um, you know, the puppets can say things that the, uh, the human being couldn't necessarily get away with in this in this day and age. So um, I have fun playing playing with that. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. Um, and you're no stranger to uh, Vegas and the Strip. You actually, I remember when you had the residency over at Planet Hollywood. Um, now you're you're coming back for Harris. Uh, what what makes performing in uh, Vegas different? Well, there is nowhere like it, as, as you well know. It is the entertainment capital of the world. And, and, you know, through my journey on AGT, you know, that is the goal. And you know that that's where you want to end up. So um, to, to, to have a show in Vegas, to perform in Vegas is, is a big deal. So uh, I had a fantastic time a few years ago. And, and then we had the pandemic. Uh, and then, you know, entertainment started up again. So uh, I am very, very excited to be coming back and particularly to Harris because that was the first hotel casino I ever stayed in when I first came oh. to Vegas. So, so that's a, that's a real thrill. Oh, yeah, no, I got to say, I have I have great stories when I used to come here before I lived here. Mine was Sahara. And uh, but I have so many great stories and it's always uh, has a place in my heart. So I so here is for you. So that's pretty cool. Um, and you're going to be uh, you're coming in November. OK, now what makes this interesting is it's the same week that Formula One rolls into town. Last yeah. year, you know, it was a it was a disaster, according to a lot of people uh, this year. We're, we're hoping for, for yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is maybe the nerves will be calmer for uh, your crowd this year. Well, I know that I've, I've got some stiff competition, so, um, you know, I'm going to give it my give it my best shot. But I think there's such a great atmosphere when there's an event like that in Vegas uh, and such a buzz around the town that I think hopefully it will filter down and there'll be lots more people in town and lots more people that can, you know, come in and see and see my see my puppet show because uh, this year, this time on, on this uh, on this platform, on this stage, I'm going to be doing my my edgy, my edgy family show. So there will be kids in the audience and okay. I'll be getting some kids up on stage and I'll be doing some ventriloquism with them. And and there's still my main character, like Sam, who is here now. <clears throat> right. Hello. Oh. Hi to Jason. Hi, oh. Jason. Oh, hi, Sam. Sam. I didn't see you so pop in. So Sam's just popped in. Yeah, what are we doing? Well, we're just talking about the show that we're doing, Stars of Comedy at Harrah's, November 21st, 22nd, 23rd. Oh, we're doing that, right? Yeah. All oh, right, great. Great. Yeah, That's really great. Yeah, I mean, Sam, See. have you missed, uh, Sam, have you missed Las Vegas? I loved it. I love yeah. Vegas. I'm excited to come back. But I know it's very hot and I may melt. <laughs> true, true. Well, listen, I, I understand that. Oh, there you go. Uh, you know, Paul, there's great, there's great power in, in the fact that you have this character right, right on your hand, basically, that anything mm. is possible. The reason I bring that up is my co-host, my co Mike, uh, who's standing next to me, he's going to do the spin with you. But there was yeah. a segment where he got to control a puppet and let me tell you, it became a therapy session. He, got, he, he was getting some emotions out that nobody's ever seen before. And I don't know if any of us can ever live it down. So congratulations on being a professional and being able to hone in the emotion and turn it into comedy because we almost had to call uh, 911 for, for, uh, for Mike. So.